Okay, so we're gonna need chips and salsa. And guacamole and tacos. And margaritas. margaritas. Everything you need for the perfect single the mile celebration. Today on Su Vida. It seems like we go from one celebration to the next. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Jared Cardenas. And I'm Vanessa Ramirez. Yeah, we just celebrated St. Patrick's Day, and now here comes Single the Mile. And if you're thinking of celebrating that Cinco, we got some tips for you. Well, not from us, from the experts. We're at Via Luna, and for more than 35 years, they've been our go-to restaurant for amazing Mexican food. I can taste the tacos already. Mmm, delicious. Yes. I think we need to go look for a table. Yes, while we do that, take a look at this. Hey, by the way, you know that first scratch on the car, how it just kills you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll meet an artist who uses cars as his canvas for his unique creations. Mm. <sighs> oh, gosh. You. So, Hank Robinson is an engraver, a father, and all around just badass. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a, a Dremel engraver, I'm a multi-material engraver, so I do engravings in metal, wood, glass, plastics, literally anything I can get my Dremel on. Kind of known for doing out-of-the-box kind of projects, not necessarily just flat pieces of metal, you know, I'm looking for the things that have never been done before, I'm looking to do the shock and awe moments, and. If I don't think I can do something, that's just gonna make me wanna do it even more. So Hanro Studios came about in 2012. I love it so much. I just, I enjoyed being in the garage engraving things more than the actual job that I had, which was welding at the time. I decided one day that this is what I wanted to pursue. This is what I wanted to accomplish in life. And I gave up everything and just started engraving full time. I create anything and everything. I'm really known for, in the automotive world, for different aftermarket parts, doing full body engravings on cars and trucks. Um, I do a lot of instruments. We do Yeti cups, business signs. It can, literally can be anything and everything. So my, my favorite things to engrave actually are memorial pieces, but I just really feel a sense of accomplishment when I can give, you know, a family that's already gone through so much, I can give them something to remember their son or daughter or their mother, and kind of, you know, obviously whoever it is, um, kind of give them the forever lasting peace that they're gonna hold on to. Like, it just means a lot to me. Anything that I do with military, you know, obviously I gave 10 years of my life to that. And I've, you know, we've bled and been to war with you know what I mean, brothers of mine, and we've also lost guys too, so I definitely can relate on the emotional factor, and I know that what I'm doing for those memorials means so much more than just engraving a piece of metal. You see the happiness in their eyes, but you also see the sadness as well, and I think it's, a, it's an awesome thing that, you know, art can do that, you know, change your emotions like that. If you have it, not even necessarily with engraving, but if you have some sort of creative thought in your mind process somehow, someday, act on it. It feels so gratifying to actually do something with your own two hands. I mean, do stuff with your kids. I mean, that's the only thing I could really say. It may not be engraving, it may not be painting, but just get up and do something out of the box that doesn't involve your two thumbs and a cell phone. It's, it's an awesome world we live out. Wow, that's crazy, such a work of art. Do you know what else is a work of art? No, I don't. Vaya Luna Salsa. Ooh, yes, mm. and their guac, mm -hmm. it's magnifico. But don't go away, when we come back, we're gonna show you how to make that Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo Salsa celebration. A Cinco de Mayo celebration salsa can be a, make it a stand up, can be a stand up. How to make that Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo salsa celebration. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo celebration salsa stand out. Hey, don't go away. When we come back, we're going to show you how to make that Cinco de Mayo Celebration Salsa stand out. Ooh, try saving that five times. Cinco Actually, you did. Yes. And it didn't work. <laughs> 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 we'll be back with more Samila right after this. 
Enjoy local stories from your community in the form of videos, articles, podcasts, live streams, and more. Find it all only at yourview.com. Su Vida is brought to you by Chicanos por la Causa. Join the cause for change. Hey, welcome back to Su Vida. Today, the experts are sharing their tips on planning the perfect Cinco celebration. Oh, yes, and every great celebration starts with a good salsa. Yes. But don't you dare go buy that salsa in a jar when you can make your own. No way. The expert from Valle Luna will show you how to make some sensational salsa. Take a look. Thank you, Vanessa. Here at Valle Luna, you will get authentic, amazing salsas. Let me start with the hot sauce. You get the table salsa, you get the pico de gallo, the tomatillo salsa, my favorite, and you get the guacamole. Everything is made daily and fresh here. If you want to make your own tomatillo salsa at home, roast everything in the, gar in the oven. I put a lot of garlic in it, blend everything together. I have a garden. I go outside, chop a little bit of the fresh cilantro, put it in there, taste amazing. But if you don't care about the tomatillo salsa, I can tell you a secret for the pico de gallo. I shape a little bit of carrots in it and put a little bit of orange juice in it. You will like it. I promise you. All right, Luz, muchas gracias. Those are great tips for some good salsa. And by the way, congratulations on becoming the newest American citizen of this great country. Yes. Happy Cinco to you, girl. Congratulations. And you know that salsa is a great way to start a celebration. Chicanos por lo Caso is also celebrating. They've been serving the Southwest for 50 years. Recently, two men who played very important roles in that history sat down to reminisce and look forward. Well, I know I'm riding on the shoulders of, of great people before me, right? You were the first president, I'm the seventh president leading this organization. And can you tell me a little about what, what were the things you guys were thinking? What were the, the struggles, the challenges? Chilapo La Casa was started as a spin-off of the farm workers movement. We were disciples of Cesar Chavez. We were involved in not only in the, uh, in the boycott, but also in the strike. And the same committee that was involved in those activities were the ones who formed the board director of Chicano por la Causa. Um, it's almost seemed like we've gone full circle, right? You, you guys did the original walkout of the Phoenix Junior High School, and today, you know, you have the teachers, you know, doing their big walkout, and how we're involved with Head Start, serving a thousand kids a day today, to operating charter high schools ourselves in southern Arizona, to working with children so they get the proper brain development and nutrition so they can have success in school, you know, doing with, with DACA students to uh, providing scholarships, healthcare, which is also very important, and now being involved in economic development. Which right now we have 34 different services. We have 900 plus people working for us. Could you imagine that back when you guys got started? I couldn't even imagine that because we're having a hard time funding from day to day. <laughs> you know, we actually uh, commissioned a private study of what's been the economic impact. Right. Uh, beyond the social impact, which is most important to us, right? But over the past 10 years, in the state of Arizona, Chicanos por la Causa, something you helped start, and I'm leading today, has made a $1.75 billion economic impact to the state. And sales tax to the state budget, in that 10 years, we generated $57 million worth of sales tax. Wow, well, congratulations. So you know, we're a partner with the state. So when I talked to you know, Governor Ducey and he appointed me to the Arizona Mexico Commission, we're bringing companies that are expanding from Mexico into Phoenix. But one of the things that, that it's amazing is reaching out to the Native Americans and setting up, setting up clinic in, in the, in the, uh, in the service center in the west side really moved me. Yeah, that, that's the Maryvale Clinic that you're talking about. Exactly. And, and the Federally Qualified Health Center. You know, and in that center we have St. Mary's Food Bank, we have St. Joseph the Worker, we have the WIC office, all these services dressed for success. So we think in abundance, right? We're saying there's other organizations that do things that we don't do. Right. Right. And how do we work together right. so that collectively we can make that strong collective impact together. And and I was so excited when uh, Native House agreed to move into the center and already they're seeing patients every day and we're helping more people. And, and I really appreciate the fact that the leadership within that center really cares. And that's what I love about our people right there. They could be working somewhere else, probably making more money, right? But it's in their DNA that they, they want to be that servant leader. They want to make impact on people's lives and I think that's what really sells the private sector to join us. I hope you'll continue to meet with me and educate me and I definitely gonna have a front row seat. Good seeing you man. Let's Bye. enjoy this meal. Yes, please. 
Hey, we love CPLC and we want to congratulate them on 50 years of great service. Yes, we do. And you know, Jer, in addition to Cinco de Mayo, we also celebrate Earth Day in the month of May. And my birthday. Yeah, but we don't really get to eat anything during that month. Mm, wrong again. Check out this program. They're teaching kids how to grow healthy vegetables. Ooh, like what's in these delicious bandido burritos? What's in that guacamole? Hmm, let me taste it. Mm. Go ahead, keep eating more. Mm, that's fresh. It's hands-on learning at its best. As students from all ages come to Olivewood Gardens and Learning Center for a field trip that's educational. What did you come up with? It had 36 grams of carbohydrates. And that's just one serving size, right? Okay, 36 grams. How does that translate to teaspoons of sugar? Nine teaspoons. Interactive. Try to make a ball, sweetie. And lots of fun. Olivewood Gardens' historic 6.85-acre property is located in National City, California, and serves as an indoor-outdoor classroom for kids and adults. So our field trip program is uh, based on a three-part rotation. It is a two-hour program, and it includes a science, a garden, and a nutrition component. So we need half a cup of maple syrup. And why do you think we're using maple syrup today, boys? It's very important to educate our local school children about eating healthy and making healthy behaviors part of their day, just so that we reduce the rate of obesity and chronic diseases that stem from that, like diabetes. In 2010, we started our field trip program, serving students primarily in National City, getting their hands dirty, really understanding where food comes from, how to grow food, produce food, um, and get that on your plate for, for a nutritious meal. And as the program progressed, we realized that we were missing the parents. So in 2012, the Cooking for Salud eight-week program launched, designed to teach parents how to make healthy changes. We have local chefs that will come and prepare healthy meals for them. And so they learn how to use different flavors and seasonings and ingredients that are healthier for them. Our Cooking for Salud graduates are called Kitchenistas and we have kitchenistas out doing presentations in all 10 national school district elementary schools twice a year. So it's peer-to-peer -peer education. I come here to help with uh, programs with the kids. We bring presentations sharing what we have learned in this uh, eight weeks program. As children, they learn what's important for their body. That's something that they own learning and empowering them to eat healthy, to uh, be adventurous in the kitchen, to be hands-on. There's nothing like uh, being hands-on for, for a child to be able to really prepare them. A day at Olivewood Gardens that has planted seeds of knowledge. We learned about how many of the drinks that some of us drink on a regular basis have a lot of sugar. I didn't know chia seed pudding was that good. It was amazing. I got to see a part of Olive Garden that I never seen before. We did um, the the chia seed balls first. It was really fun. If you learn about it at a young age, then you'll be able to teach other kids when you're an adult, and you'll be able to make a big difference in the world. These bandito burritos are amazing. Yummy. You know what would complete this order? Hmm. Some cold drinks. Hmm, what could that be? Oh, I know, a margarita. Once again, my friend, you read my mind. Mm -hmm. When we come back, my friend Joe is gonna show us how to make that perfect margarita, so don't you go away now, you hear? So if you this brought to you in part by Mega 104.3 and 1011 The Beat. Hey, welcome back to Subida. I'm Vanessa Ramirez. And I'm J.R. Cárdenas, and we're at our favorite Mexican food restaurant, Valle Luna, mm -hmm. helping you with the celebration of Cinco de Mayo. Yes, we are eating these tacos just for you. Such sacrifice. I know, right? You're welcome. But you know, what would Cinco de Mayo be without margaritas? It'd be Cinco de Mayo mm -hmm. and pretty boring. Lucky for you guys, my friend Joe is going to show us how to make this Cinco concoction. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Yeah. Thank you, JR. But now it's time to talk about the cocktails featuring a Dolce Vita tequila, which you can find at any Total Wine location with a 60 calorie, two carb organic tequila. First, I'd like to talk about the Mexican mule. Very simple. Organic lime tequila and ginger beer. Secondly, we have a grapefruit margarita featuring grapefruit tequila and ruby red grapefruit juice 
with a splash of agave nectar. And lastly, the more difficult one is a pineapple jalapeno infused margarita featuring naranja organic orange liqueur, a splash of lime juice, agave nectar, and a soda water. If you want to try to make any of these cocktails in your backyard, you can, or if you want to come into any of our Valley Luna locations, we will make them for you. So have a great time and enjoy your summer. You know, Jer, a margarita is a must for any proper Cinco celebration. Ooh, Vanessa, and it's a great summer drink. Sort of a tropical escape in a cup, glass, jar. You know, if you're in need of an escape, there's one just a short drive away. Check out Apache Gold Casino. The scenery is spectacular. Massive granite boulders set amidst the splendor of the desert create a setting of solitude and quiet, which belies the action, the fun, and the excitement that exists just around the next bend. Located an easy 90-minute drive just east of Mesa is the Apache Gold Casino Resort, where you'll discover a spirit of the high desert that stays with you long after your getaway ends. The AAA Three Diamond Rated Apache Gold Hotel, with its cozy rooms and spacious suites, provides the perfect setting for quiet relaxation. Tone up in the fitness center. Then relax with the dip in the heated pool. Just steps away is the Apache Stronghold Golf Course recognized as one of Arizona's top courses. Designed by acclaimed golf course architect Tom Doak, this par 72 high desert golf course will challenge even the best. After working up an appetite on the links, there's no shortage of dining options at the Apache Gold Casino Resort to a gourmet sandwich or rack of tender ribs at the Black River Grill. To the most mouth-watering hand-cut steaks served with Lair at the Apache Prime Steakhouse. After dinner, the fun is just getting started. It's time to stake your claim at the Apache Gold Casino. From over 500 slots. To blackjack. You bring the luck and the casino will bring the action. Whatever your game, the Apache Gold Casino Resort has you covered. An easy 90-minute drive will take you worlds away. Come for the golf. Come for the food. Come enjoy the spirit of the high desert and the excitement of the spin of the wheel. Whether you come for a day or a weekend, you're bound to enjoy the riches of the Apache Gold Casino Resort. Oh, uh, yes, the perfect margarita. We'll be right back with more subida right after this. You know, I'm going to have another taco, or two, or three, or four. I think I'll just take the whole plate. <laughs> yes, you will. Restaurant and food segments on Subida are brought to you in part by El Pollo Loco. <laughs> Welcome back to Subida. We're at a Valley favorite that's been catering to Phoenix for over 35 years. Yes, Valle Luna, where the guac is great and the margaritas are magnifico. Yes, and the tacos, they're tasty. Yes, I've had 10 of them. Yes, she has. So far, we've showed you how to make that great salsa, mix the perfect margarita, but what if you don't have time for all that? Well, if that's the case, then just turn to the experts here at Valle Luna and have them cater your party. The food is delicious and it's easy. That's the smartest thing she said all season. And by the way, if you're looking for furniture for your house, go talk to the experts over at American Freight Furniture.
Uh, American Freight Furniture and Mattress was established in 1993, and for the past 25 years, we've been helping customers save money on quality furniture and mattresses. American Freight Furniture and Mattresses offers low prices on quality furniture every day, so that way the consumer doesn't have to wait for a sale. We also offer a low price match guarantee. The most important things you should consider when purchasing new furniture is price, style, and value. We have over 160 locations and we are still growing. We offer our showroom and warehouse all in one so you can receive same day pickup or delivery on any in stock item. So we have the best layaway. You come in, pick out what you like, put down whatever you feel comfortable with and you pay on it every two weeks until you're ready. You can take as long as you need up to 24 months and there's no charge. We believe the best way to buy furniture is to try it before you buy it. With online purchasing, you can't actually touch or feel the furniture. Here at American Freight, you can come in, sit on the furniture, pick out the one you like the best, and get it that same day. How something looks online can be very different than what it looks like in person, plus, Trying it before you buy it avoids the hassle of a return process. Oh man, we've learned a lot. And we ate a lot. I'm so yeah. full, Jared. Look, look, Vanessa, this button's fighting for its life. <laughs> I can see that. And now you know how to plan the perfect Cinco celebration. Oh yes, but why not make it easy on yourself and join Valle Luna at any of their three locations to party? I've heard their Cinco de Mayo celebrations are legendary. Well, that means we need to go check one out. But please don't drink and drive and be safe because we want to share the next vida with, with you. you.